Hey there parents and parents-to-be, welcome to today's video where we're diving into something pretty incredible, how your body produces breast milk and the amazing role hormones play in making it happen. Whether you're expecting breastfeeding or just curious, this is for you. Did you know your body's like a perfectly tuned orchestra with hormones calling the shots to create milk for your baby? Stick with me for the next 10 minutes and I'll break it down in a way that's easy to understand, super relatable, and maybe even a little fun. Let's get started. Breast milk is often called liquid gold because it's packed with nutrients, antibodies, and love for your baby. But producing it? That's a complex process driven by your hormones. For many new moms in the US, breastfeeding can feel like a roller coaster. Sometimes it flows easily, and other times it's stressful. Maybe you've wondered, why isn't my milk coming in? Or why do I feel like I'm not making enough? Don't worry, we're going to unpack how hormones like prolactin and oxytocin are the superstars behind it all and share some practical tips to support them. By the end, you'll understand what's happening in your body and feel empowered to navigate your breastfeeding journey. Let's dive into the science. First up, let's meet the two main hormones that make breastfeeding possible, prolactin and oxytocin. Think of prolactin as the milk maker. It's produced in your pituitary gland, a tiny spot in your brain, and it tells your breast to produce milk. When your baby suckles, it sends a signal to your brain, hey, make more prolactin. The more your baby nurses, the more prolactin your body pumps out and the more milk you produce. It's like a demand and supply system. Your baby's hunger drives the production line. Pretty cool, right? Now, oxytocin is the milk releaser. This hormone is what gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling when you're cuddling your baby. Oxytocin triggers what's called the letdown reflex, which is when your milk starts flowing. Ever felt a tingling or warm sensation in your breasts when your baby cries or latches on? That's oxytocin doing its magic. But here's the thing. Stress, exhaustion, or even dehydration can mess with oxytocin, making it harder for your milk to let down. It's like trying to pour water from a pitcher when the lid's stuck. So how do these hormones kick into gear? It all starts during pregnancy. Your body begins producing prolactin as early as the second trimester, preparing your breasts for milk production. By the time your baby arrives, your prolactin levels are sky high. After birth, when the placenta is delivered, estrogen and progesterone levels drop, giving prolactin the green light to take center stage. That's why frequent nursing or pumping in those first few days is so important. It signals your body to keep prolactin levels up and establish your milk supply. But it's not just about prolactin and oxytocin. Other hormones, like insulin and thyroid hormones, play supporting roles, helping regulate your metabolism and energy so your body can focus on making milk. It's like a whole team of hormones working together to support you and your baby. Now, let's talk about some common challenges. In the U.S., about half of breastfeeding moms report concerns about low milk supply at some point. Sometimes this is tied to hormonal imbalances. For example, conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome or thyroid disorders can affect prolactin levels. Stress is another big one. When you're stressed, your body releases cortisol, which can interfere with oxytocin and make it harder for milk to let down. Lack of sleep, skipping meals, or not drinking enough water can also throw things off. It's not just you. Your hormones are sensitive to your environment and self-care. So what can you do to support your hormones and boost milk production? First, nurse or pump frequently, especially in the early weeks. Aim for 8 to 12 times every 24 hours to keep prolactin levels high. Second, prioritize relaxation to help oxytocin flow. Try deep breathing, a warm shower, or even listening to calming music before nursing. Third, stay hydrated and eat nutrient-rich foods. Think whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. In the U.S., lactation consultants often recommend oatmeal or lactation cookies, which may help because they're packed with nutrients that support energy and hormone balance. And finally, don't hesitate to reach out for support. If you're worried about your milk supply, a lactation consultant or your doctor can check for hormonal issues like thyroid problems and offer personalized advice. Here's a quick myth buster. 
you don't need to chug gallons of water or eat specific milk-making foods to produce enough milk. Your body is designed to prioritize your baby's needs, and most moms can make enough milk with balanced nutrition and frequent nursing. That said, everybody is different, so if something feels off, trust your instincts and seek help. Before we wrap up, let's address partners and caregivers. You play a huge role too. Supporting a breastfeeding mom means helping her rest, bringing her water or snacks, or just offering a kind word when things feel overwhelming. Hormones are sensitive to stress, so your support can make a big difference in helping her oxytocin flow. So there you have it, the hormonal magic behind breast milk production. Prolactin builds the supply, oxytocin releases it, and your body's teamwork makes it all possible. Breastfeeding can have its challenges, but understanding how your hormones work gives you the power to navigate them. If you're in the U.S., you've got resources like lactation consultants, support groups, or even online communities to lean on. You're not alone in this journey. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, or drop a comment with your questions or experiences. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want more tips on breastfeeding or parenting, subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, take care of yourself and keep rocking this parenting thing.